Engineering the Perfect Season is brought to you by GMC. The son of a coaching legend, unafraid to try something new. If it can help us become a better football team, then we're gonna use it. Technology built for war lands on the football gridiron. A 38-year veteran working quietly on the sidelines takes to the sky. Today is a new day. The last time UCLA football won a championship was in 1954. That was a year before the face mask was invented. This season, the team is gunning for the Pac-12 championship title. That's a lot of expectation. So what are they doing to up their game? Something revolutionary. Bruins training camp, Cal State San Bernardino. There's a buzz in the air. It's not just the excitement of a new season or the return of Heisman hopeful quarterback Brett Hundley. It's UCLA's newest tool, the Phantom Quadcopter Drone. When you're a coach, it's hard to comment on anything that happens at practice without the old, I gotta look at the film. Anything that can give us an edge, then we're gonna embrace. Ken Norris has been with the Bruins since 1986, but he got a start a decade earlier, splicing 16 millimeter game footage. I started my career with the Los Angeles Rams at the tender age of 13. My boss at the Rams, Mickey Dukic, he was the first full-time cinematographer in the NFL. As a hobby, he flew model airplanes. So when you walked into his office, you saw a film lab, you got a processor in the back, and then all these different model airplanes. When you're a kid, you're going, oh man, I'd love to fly one of those. Obviously, he never once let me touch his, and I had to go get my own single prop plane. Same controller as one of these, it was very similar. Flew it, not realizing it runs out of gas. <laughs> so the thing stops and it putt putt and all of a sudden it crashes, so that was the end of that. I haven't flown since, until these things came out. Ken introduced the Phantom drone one day at Bruins practice in 2013. It wasn't long until the coaching staff embraced the new technology realizing the incredible power of an eye in the sky. Drone technology is helping football teams see the field from a new perspective. The GMC Acadia also gives you a better perspective with its innovative head-up display. The cockpit-inspired readout projects onto your windshield so you can access data like your speed, audio info, and climate controls, all without taking your eyes off the road. The GMC Acadia Denali, that's professional grade. The small, lightweight drone has a sleek design with four propellers connected to a lean base. The base is outfitted with a stabilizing camera mount which carries a GoPro, recording all the action in full HD. We'll record individual drills. We'll get an aerial perspective of a drill that is normally shot from the ground level. We can go anywhere on the field and get the shot that we want. Sometimes the angle that a lift provides isn't right on top of the action. A lot of times the lifts are 30 yards from you and they're also 40 feet in the air, so they're not actually right on top of you. You can get right on top of the drill and you can actually get up close and see separation and technique that coaches always try to identify. Separation in technique is when theory and execution don't meet up. It results in mistakes made on the field and games lost. With the Phantom Drone, coaches can now see if a player's footwork or hand placement are incorrect. Wide angle views can give coaches the all 22 angle, so it's possible to check spacing between linemen before the snap of the ball. It's a revolutionary point of view. Things are happening so quickly out here and our eyes get caught in so many different places that we really need different angles at which to study every practice. I am probably one of the rare breeds that's left that actually used film, video, and digital. Back then, coaches had personal projectors. They'd have their own that they'd take on the road. They'd take these reels and they'd thread it up and they'd put it up on a wall. There was a single button remote that they would hold and just go reverse, play, reverse, play, reverse, play. And they did that 30 times on one play just to watch every position on the field. An average practice can generate as much as 1,000 gigabytes of HD content. In real time, as practice is going on, 
Ken's tech team uploads this media to the ThunderCloud server and adds metadata tags so that coaches can simultaneously access the day's practice. So this is the server room. This is the heart of the operation. Searching clips by play, by player, by time of day, down, quarter, distance to goal, up to 80 fields of data are possible. Once it's up there, they'll be able to watch the game. They can be anywhere. As long as they have an internet connection, they'll be able to watch video on their iPad, wherever they're at. What's fun for me is when I come home at night and my son, Trey, who's 11, has already watched our practice. During the season, he'll have a scouting report ready for me on Monday night, and that's kind of cool. Whether it's that Phantom drone or the ThunderCloud server that allows coaches to review game footage in a matter of clicks, the players are still human beings, prone to injury and error. But with innovative minds like Ken Norris helping coaches be more precise than ever, UCLA is well on its way to engineering the perfect season.